Why did they hire Doc Rivers? <laughs> Doc Rivers is a born again loser. And I say born again because he's won one championship. He's been in the league. He's been a coach for over 20 years. And he's gone from one team to another team. And that's what I mean. He's born again because he takes over another team and he completely tortures fans because this guy has never won. He is not a winner. And I say never won because he's won one championship and he wasn't even coaching the team. This organization made a big mistake. I really do. I, I understand Giannis didn't like, um, what's his name again? Um, Griffin. A, a, a Adrian Griffin. But if you look at their record, when Adrian Griffin, Griffin was fired, they were in first place. When Adrian Griffin was coaching this team, the Milwaukee Bucks were in first place. I think they were like 32 and 10. And then they gave the reins to Doc Rivers. I think they lost like seven or eight games <laughs> in two weeks. And then they started to win. But if you look at their season, they probably win about 60 games this year if they kept Adrian Griffin. It is a big story because Giannis is one of the top five players in the league. Some people think he's still a top three player. He's 31 years old, probably has three more years left at the top of his game. A teams out there that are looking to win a championship – are looking for a superstar player of this magnitude, the Knicks being one of them. You can you can, you put him with Jalen Brunson. You're you're talking about an NBA championship here in New York. You're talking about a contender automatically if you put Giannis on this Knicks team. Now, is it going to happen? No, it's not just the Knicks. The Miami Heat are another team looking for that other superstar to play with Jimmy Buckets. How about Orlando? Orlando has a lot of money. They have all those youngsters. You put Giannis on that Orlando team with Pachero, Giannis would be a great addition over there. How about Dallas? How about playing with Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic? And Dallas just had, they just, they just sold. I mean, Mark Cuban just sold the team to one of the richest NBA owners now. And I, I could definitely see the Dallas Mavericks overpaying Giannis to come here. And I, he's already under contract, but hey, they might even extend him more. How about the L.A. Lakers? They could trade Anthony Davis. They could trade pieces. I don't know how many drafts, draft picks they have, um, but I could see Giannis going over there. Is Giannis better than Anthony Davis? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. But I don't know how he would play with LeBron James. So it, it's very interesting. I, I mean – it's a crazy story. I don't know if Milwaukee is going to be willing to trade him in the offseason, but if Damian Lillard decides to leave, if he decides to go to Miami, which I believe that's where he's heading, I, I really do. I, I, he's, I mean, the stories were coming out. He only wanted to play for two teams, the Brooklyn Nets, which they're rebuilding. He's not going over there. He's, he's getting up there in age. He wants to win a championship. Or Miami. It makes a lot of sense on why Miami would be the top team right now to land a Damian Lillard. Milwaukee is going to be a rebuilding team. The Eastern Conference is now, uh, it's really dominated by the Celtics, the Knicks, Philadelphia, if Joel Embiid uh, decides that he wants to be traded, that Philadelphia could be a rebuilding team too. They've been a rebuilding team for many, many years. And if Maxi decides to stay there, which he probably will because he's going to get a super max contract, especially if he's an all NBA player, which he should be this year for the season that he had. Um, I, I could see Joel Embiid staying there for another year. If they can't win a championship, he he'll probably say, you know, I'm never going to win a championship here. I have to go somewhere else. So, and Joel Embiid is fighting knee problems. And, and usually with a big man, when he's at the age of 30, 31, and he's fighting knee problems, he's not going to be the same player. It is so very interesting moving forward and seeing what is going to happen to Giannis, what's going to happen to uh, Joel Embiid, what is going to happen to some of these superstars when they become available uh, to some of these free agent teams that are looking for that next superstar to take them over the hump. So it's a very interesting story.